Thousands of families affected by disasters, like the recent wildfires, urgently need support. You can help the American Red Cross provide warm meals, shelter, and hope to families when they need it most. Please donate today to Red Cross Disaster Relief to help people affected by disasters, big and small. Go to redcross.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS today. Your support is critical. We can't do it without you. See that cute little dog in the pet store window? Chances are it came from a puppy mill, a breeding facility that forces caged, neglected, and often sick dogs to churn out puppy after puppy to be sold for profit. Meanwhile, millions of wonderful, healthy pets end up in animal shelters. This leads to the killing of more than 9,000 by the end of today. But with one simple choice, you can help. Just by deciding to adopt instead of purchase your next pet. Animal shelters are full of amazing pets looking for a home. When you adopt your new best friend, not only are you saving a life, you're taking a stand against puppy mills. When your friends see the smart choice and impact you've made, they adopt their next pet and share with five of their friends, who share with five more. Before long, thousands get involved. Pet stores stop selling dogs from puppy mills, and even more lives are saved. And with your help, we can save them all. Visit bestfriends.org slash puppy mills to learn more. It's Thursday night, and you're grabbing drinks with some friends. Start it off with a pitcher for the table, which quickly becomes two. There's pool. And there's the photo booth. All right, everybody, squeeze in. Say cheese. Followed naturally by an order of wings. And another. Can we get some extra ranch sauce? Then there's the ceremonial nightcap. So what are we doing this weekend? And lastly, it's back to the car, which, if you're buzzed... could be the most expensive night of your life. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving, because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Every day, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps demonstrate their commitment to defend the American way of life. Since 1775, we have served our nation as a force in readiness. From combat operations to humanitarian assistance in every corner of the world. No matter where the mission takes us today or wherever our country needs us tomorrow, we always remember the land we call home. As Marines, we take a stand for each other, for our nation, for us all, the few, the proud, the Marines. It's pretty amazing when you consider that seven years ago, we didn't have the treatments we have now. We cure 80% of children with cancer. Go back 50 years, we were curing 20 to 30 percent. This is the miracle story of modern medicine. We understand what makes this cancer tick. And of course, without donors from around the world, this just couldn't happen. There's one thing we're focused on, and that's beating this thing. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Finding cures, saving children. Learn more at stjude.org. Not on my watch, our military service members say, as they volunteer to serve as they move out, stand firm, and take fire. So not on our watch, we say, to the severely ill or injured veterans who can't get the care they deserve to live full and independent lives, even when there's no government funding or a nursing home seems like the only option. We won't leave one warrior behind. Not on our watch. Join us at findwwp.org. The Red Cross responds to nearly 66,000 disasters every year, most of them house fires. Red Cross President and CEO Gail McGovern says you need to develop an evacuation plan and practice it, especially with your children. It takes just two minutes for a home to be engulfed in flames. Practice those drills. We all think our kids know what to do. They don't. 
we need to teach them. We have started a large campaign where we're going into vulnerable communities and helping install smoke alarms. Already 92 lives were saved, and four of those lives were saved by a five-year-old girl who remembered what we taught them during these fire drills, and she got her family out. We also have a slew of free apps that people can download onto their smartphones. It's what to do in every kind of disaster you can imagine, how to prepare and how to recover. To help support all the Red Cross does and to make a financial donation, go to redcross.org. That's redcross.org. Not on my watch, our military service members say, as they volunteer to serve, as they move out, stand firm, and take fire. So not on our watch, we say, to the severely ill or injured veterans who can't get the care they deserve to live full and independent lives, even when there's no government funding or a nursing home seems like the only option. We won't leave one warrior behind. Not on our watch. Join us at findwwp.org. You want to know what time it is? It's time to bring the rain. Zinc Media. Feel the power of knowledge. Good morning to you, one and all. Yes, it is I, your lovable host, Elrod, coming to you live once again. Welcome back. This is the October surprise. I'm hearing a little bit of reverb there. Uh, we're in a revamped uh, bunkerized studio, so bear with us, please, as we uh, try to get through some of the... Um, the issues, the technical glitches that we may run across. Now, we, I did a run through last night and everything sounded pretty good, but all of a sudden now I'm getting this reverb and, and, and you know, it, hey, that's the kind of stuff that happens every once in a while. Um, you know, you got to try to roll with the punches and, and hopefully everything turns out okay. Uh, but if you're getting this sound of, of, of reverb on you, then I I do apologize, but uh, we'll we'll try to try to try to fix that a little bit if we can, if I can during the show. I know it kind of it 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 can, it can get annoying. Anyway, welcome back. Yes, indeed, we are live here on the Rod Eckle Show. Uh, hat took some time off. This summer, um, and and just just got got a lot of things done this summer. Unfortunately, those of you who may have been following me, uh, the the radio station, unfortunately, um, I decided was not a proper fit for this program. And, and there's a number of reasons, and, and it's not because the radio station was full of jerks or they were bad. People. Great people over there, great people. Uh, you have to, and I can't blame them. Can't blame them at all. The problem comes down to, believe it or not, our government and the FCC and their rather stringent rules. Now, it, it, as, as I've mentioned a number of times, uh, you know, our government controls everything. And if, if they don't control it yet, they're, they're trying to figure out a way to make it sound good for you, for them to control it. The government doesn't, it, it, the, our government invents very little, very little, but everything that gets invented by people, regular private citizens, seems to somehow end up getting controlled by the government. Take broadcasting, for instance. Yeah, that wasn't invented by government. 
Not at all. That was invented by private citizens. And those private citizens decided that they wanted to be able to um, have something that didn't exist before. And quite simply, you know, broadcasting, that, that's what that was. You know, radio, television broadcasting, government had no part in it. But then all of a sudden, government decides we're going to control it. So then they start introducing regulations. Now you could say, well, you know, they, they tried to, you know, have it universal and be fair and all that kind of stuff. Great. I understand, you know, trying to organize it and coming up with, you know, uh, frequencies and all that kind of stuff. And then, and then you know, for, for public good, um, mandating certain frequencies or for certain things and, and licensing stations so people know where the station's coming from and all that kind of stuff. I get that stuff. It's kind of outdated today considering with the, with the Internet, but I still get it. What I don't get is that it cost way too much for the average person to start a radio station today. You want to try to get through the SEC licensing to start a new station. Oh, you can forget it. You need about a million bucks or more just to get through the licensing process. And if you want to buy a station, well, good, they'll put you through the ringer for the next three to five years. Buying a radio or TV station is not a simple thing. I mean, yet, yet, you know, two parties could come together. You know, you could get one party says, yeah, I want to buy your radio station. The other party says, yeah, I want to sell it to you. And you could have the deal done, you know, cash exchange and, all, and ownership exchange and all that kind of stuff in about a month. But wait, now the FCC gets involved. Well, that changes the whole story. Well, the FCC also puts down some rules. What you can, what you cannot say. What you can and cannot advertise or market, and blah, 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 blah. Well, the problem was is that the, the, uh, the, the station that I was on in Manchester, New Hampshire, was a non-not-for-profit station, which means in order to be a for-profit program, and let's face it, this is a for-profit program. I'm not getting rich off of it, but it is a for-profit program. I couldn't run ads. And if I ran the wrong kind of ad, then that station, not me, the station, would get fined. And some of those fines are hefty. And after looking at all of that and just saying, you know what, I, I, it's, not, it's not you, radio station people. It's not it, it, We can't. This isn't a fit for us because I'm going to get this station in trouble. Because this is a this is you know a nonprofit station. I'm going to get you guys in trouble, and that's the last thing I want. Uh, it was good, you know. It was a great idea. Uh, you know, people in Manchester actually heard me on the air that that haven't heard me before, and they were loving the program. But I tell you, the SEC steps in and says, you know, well, hey, 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 you know. You can't be saying that. You're not. You're a nonprofit, and you can't be advertising that because you're a nonprofit. And I just couldn't deal with that. I was going to get them in trouble, and, and and they could have, you know, ended up losing their license and their station, and that would not have been fair to them. So I had to step back and say, okay, now where where do I really want to take the program? And I got to do, do, do a little bit of soul searching. I said, you know what? Just go back to the to the beginning where you were doing awesome. The proper radio station will come along when it's when when you know the time is ready when God says you're ready for it. You know the, the proper station will will come along. I have no doubt about that. We'll find one or two or fifty. It doesn't matter. The one thing I'm not going to do is put somebody else's station and and uh, the benefit that it can do in danger because of my big mouth. That's not fair to them. It was not fair to them. Um, and, and as I, you know, it, you know, the station management and I, we, we learned uh, as we went along. And then I just decided that this was not going to be a, a, a good fit for them. We also got a new call-in number here. New call-in number. Yes, it's toll-free. 
write it down. If you're going to, or, or enter it into your cell phone or, or your contacts or what have you, you know, Rod Eckel Show. Call in number. Toll free, U.S. and Canada. Although I don't, I don't know why Canadians would be calling me, but, you know, some might. Phone number is 603-835-3226. That's right, 603-835-3226. As we uh, move along here in the, the, uh, the, well, the revamped Bunker Eyes studio, that one of the things is, is we got some new stuff. I don't know why they couldn't wire it. There is, right now, some of the, the devices that I'm using are, are operating wireless. Now, I'm trying to have everything in the Bunker Eye Studio hardwired because it's just faster. Because sometimes wireless gets interrupted and, and, and it can slow down and all that kind of stuff. And your router, you know, blah, 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 blah. All that techno babble stuff that I really don't fully understand. So I wanted everything hardwired. And we've been working on that. And I don't, I don't know why it, 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 I don't know, maybe the cables or something weren't, weren't long enough. Who knows? But anyway, we'll be working on that throughout the week. Got some great new features coming up all week long as well. Uh, if you've listened to follow the show before, you'll notice that there are some changes, some good changes. Uh, the studio has been, I guess you could say, insulated as well, so there's less background noise. You know, because sometimes, you know, I know Bunker Eye Studio, right? And you hear sirens going by. Well, you're not going to hear that now. Yeah, it's a lot more quiet. Um, still got some, still got some uh, other soundproofing to do in order to stop some of the echoing with it, because hard surfaces are terrible. You know, you know well, if you go into a, a real radio studio, uh, you know they've got sound baffling all over the place, and usually now here the, the this studio does not my home base bunker I studio does not have a separate engineering room and broadcast room. But if you go into most radio stations, there are separate engineering pr- production room versus the uh, the actual broadcast or talent room. And that talent room is usually just uh, loaded up with stuff uh, that baffles the sound and uh, mutes all outside sound. You know, you could be, there's a radio uh, a group, what is it, the Benny Media Group? They're on a main street. And, but you go into those studios. Now, I've been into, you know, real studios before. You go to the studio, you don't hear anything outside. You know, it could be, it, you know, World War III could be erupting outside, and you're barely going to hear it in that studio. So that's what we're trying to get here, too. Just improves the quality of the sound and the production of the, of the, uh, of the, of the program. want to welcome back all the, uh, the networks as well. Uh, that were that were syndicated on that decided to pick up the the program again. I want to thank each and every one of them for hanging on while I worked out my mess. Yes, <laughs> worked out my private mess, and uh, we got things rolling again. So everything is now copacetic. Uh, of course, uh, those those networks and stations. Uh, if you're listening on those networks and stations, I do appreciate it. And uh, again. No, we're, we're going to be here for a while. And uh, I think one of the things that we're, we're even if we do co find, if, uh, if, believe it or not, I've had some interest already. Uh, but if we do go to a, a terrestrial station, I this time I will not stop broadcasting via Spreaker or some uh, in, online method on my website. Yeah, the, the uh, Rod Eccles website. Is it not fully functional? But hang on, we're still working on it. It's a lot of work, people. Come on now. Uh, it, it will be fully functional by the end of the week, but you can still go there, pick up some of the stuff that we've been talking about. You know, it's it's a work in progress, but uh, it'll be back better than it was before as well. Rodeckles.net. Um, I, you know, I don't. Is there? There's radio now, isn't there? Dot radio. I've been inundated with that lately. Yo, get your own, uh, you know, thingy. Get your own domain. RodEcclesShow.radio. I don't want that. Nobody knows that. I know, but there there are people that, there are things out there that that, uh, that do. Um, 
I well, if they if oh, I don't know, it's not, it's not gonna. In any case, uh, one of the things that we do do here is because this is a for-profit program. Is we do take these for-profit breaks. And here's one coming up right now. Hold on, folks. We'll be back. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 dollars a pill pharmacy prices again get viagra for less than three dollars a pill call 800-595-2614 today and save up to five hundred dollars and get 40 pills for just 99 dollars healthy man is fast easy and affordable operators are waiting at 595-2614 to take your call now call 800-595-2614 that's 800-595-2614 again 800-595-2614 Hey folks, if you're anything like me and you spend a lot of time taking photos with your mobile phone or posting them to Facebook or Instagram, well did you know that you can actually be earning hundreds, even thousands of dollars each month just by uploading them to Instagram? Now, most people are skeptical at first, but this system is the real deal. You can get your hands on an evaluation copy of Instagram Profit and you can be ready to see money flowing into your account. There are over 150 million users on Instagram, yet less than 1% of them are taking advantage of these money-making secrets. Now, if they knew they could be paying their rent, making their car payment, or just snapping photos and putting them onto Instagram, I bet they would be glued to their cell phones. There are only a limited number of these spots available, however. So if you visit MoneyMatters3.com right now, you can sign up to take advantage of all the special discounts. That's right, go to MoneyMatters, the number 3, dot com and get all the info there moneymatters three dot com log on now we've all heard of male enhancement but now there's an expert on true male enhancement in the areas that really count in herb ellis's book husband 2.0 real male enhancement you'll find answers to questions like why doesn't she want to have sex a quick start quick results workout guide Plus, what you can do as a side hustle to make money now. With all the great tips in this book, every man can benefit. Get the book, Husband 2.0 Real Male Enhancement, on Amazon.com. Bring the rain. It started with a knock, but it wouldn't end there. What happens in the story next, many wouldn't understand, and most wouldn't believe. Should you wish to join me here live here on the Rod Eccles Show? We are live. Thanks for tuning in and all that kind of wonderful stuff. Again, if you didn't catch that number, it's 603 835 3226. That is a toll-free number for most calling plans in North America, I do believe. Uh, but we'll just say the USA and Canada. So what is going on with all of this? I got a, I got a bunch of stuff here in the paper pile. And, uh, you know, got some real paper this time. It's not all virtual. And uh, as you can hear that, so... In my uh, current nicotine-stained fingers. For those of you who are new, 
You don't know. I happen to like cigars. I do. I love cigars. I love cigars. Not not the cheap dime store stuff. I only go for the good sticks, baby. I gotta tell you, I uh, I went on a cruise. Uh, b- believe it or not, I went on a cruise with my mommy. Yes, my mother and I. We spent a week at sea together. It was a great time. I would not trade that time I spent with my mother for the world. It was uh, it was fantastic. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. And, I, and believe it or not, I was not bored on that cruise. Uh, yes, we were on a very large ship, uh, the the uh, Oasis. Um, you know, uh, the the Oasis, uh, Oasis and the Allure are sister ships. Um, and uh, and we were we pulled into port in San San Juan Puerto Rico, and um, a Carnival ship pulled up next. And it was Carnival's big ship, I think, the Magic. Carnival's biggest ship. Uh, the thing is, is that Carnival's biggest ship is still smaller than the Oasis. I, I, I think the, the numbers were it was uh, the Oasis is 75 feet longer and 35 feet wider. Now, you may not think that really means much, but when you're talking in terms of a ship, because it's not just, you know, one level. Um, and, and the Oasis was slightly taller. I think it had it had one or two decks more. Um, basically these are, these are, these cruise ships, folks, they're nothing but floating resorts, you know, hotel and cause yeah, there's casino. I didn't go in the casino at all. I don't gamble. Um, it's a giant, well, I guess you could say it's a, it's a casino and, and resort all in one. Um, and these, and you barely even, most of the time I didn't even know that we were on the water ship barely moved. You know, as far as the rocking motion, people who get seasick, yeah, don't worry about it. You go on a cruise and you're not going to have any seasickness problems, let me tell you. Because, um, you know, when we left the dock, we were in our stateroom, and I didn't even know we left. And that's how smooth these things, you d- did not feel a thing. And I looked out and I said, oh, hey, mom, we're um, underway now. And didn't even know. Uh, but it was a one. I get it. That Caribbean blue does not describe accurately the Caribbean water. And that, that I know where they get the term Caribbean blue now because that stuff is blue. It is. It, no, it's not New England blue. It's not green. You know how sometimes you get the the uh, the, uh, the green tinge to uh, to seawater. Uh, this stuff is blue. Even when it you know it foams over, it's still it, it's just blue, everywhere. And um, I, I I just go back to to the Caribbean someplace just so I could go swimming again in that warm because I'm I'm here in New England, you know we're used to we're used to to, to cold water shores here. I mean water temperatures could be as low as fifty degrees. That's yeah, cold. Even if it's sixty or sixty-five, that's still cold. And you get down there, man, and that stuff is just—that's like bath water. It was un- I'd, I'd forgotten how warm such waters, because you know, we, we, my father's in the military. We're in Greece and Spain, and I had forgotten uh, the, the the Mediterranean waters are also very warm. And I had forgotten what it felt like uh, to be to have water that warm tell you the truth but anyway it was a fun time and i would highly recommend that um if you've never taken a cruise that you do take one i I don't think you're going to be bored i thought i was going to be bored i wasn't bored a single time but anyway i digress because i love cigars i actually got to have legally got to have a cuban cigar and again, I had forgotten how good they can be. Cuban cigars are good. They still are very good. Uh, there's still a different flavor and aroma to them. And I, I know you can, you're allowed to bring so many back now into the states, but I didn't know what the what the requirements were and all that kind of stuff, so I just didn't buy any extra. I should have, especially after listening to this woman saying, "Yeah, you know, they took some of our liquor." 
and threw it away. Like, what? Hey, I'd be upset if they al- taking my, you know how much alcohol costs? Can't be taking alcohol from people. The Red Cross responds to nearly 66,000 disasters every year, most of them house fires. Red Cross President and CEO Gail McGovern says you need to develop an evacuation plan and practice it, especially with your children. It takes just two minutes for a home to be engulfed in flames. Practice those drills. We all think our kids know what to do. They don't. We need to teach them. We have started a large campaign where we're going into vulnerable communities and helping install smoke alarms. Already 92 lives were saved. And four of those lives were saved by a five-year-old girl who remembered what we taught them during these fire drills, and she got her family out. We also have a slew of free apps that people can download onto their smartphones. It's what to do in every kind of disaster you can imagine, how to prepare and how to recover. To help support all the Red Cross does and to make a financial donation, go to redcross.org. That's redcross.org. I'm just so happy my father had a chance to see his kids before he passed. I just want to say thank you. When her father fell ill, the American Red Cross was able to help get Veronica's brother home from the Navy to speak to his father one last time. It's thanks to your donations that we can connect military families when they need it most. Please donate today at redcross.org. It's Thursday night, and you're grabbing drinks with some friends. Start it off with a pitcher for the table, which quickly becomes two. There's pool. And there's the photo booth. All right, everybody, squeeze in. Say cheese. Followed naturally by an order of wings. And another. Can we get some extra ranch sauce? Then there's the ceremonial nightcap. So what are we doing this weekend? And lastly... It's back to the car, which, if you're buzzed, could be the most expensive night of your life. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving, because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Every day, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps demonstrate their commitment to defend the American way of life. Since 1775, we have served our nation as a force in readiness. From combat operations to humanitarian assistance in every corner of the world. No matter where the mission takes us today or wherever our country needs us tomorrow, we always remember the land we call home. As Marines, we take a stand for each other, for our nation, for us all, the few, the proud, the Marines. I considered suicide so I wouldn't put my family through all the pain. Many of our warriors are returning home from the battlefield only to face a new war as they struggle with devastating injuries. At Wounded Warrior Project, we understand. We're there to help. Even though you think you're broken, you're not. It's the physical and the emotional healing that Wounded Warrior Project provides. With a gift of just $19 a month, you can join Wounded Warrior Project. You'll help provide critically needed programs and services that rebuild lives. Beautiful. There you go, buddy. The ongoing needs of our wounded and their families will continue for many years to come. Now is the time to show your support. Call now or go online with your gift of just $19 a month and we'll send you this Wounded Warrior Project blanket. It made me feel that there's people out there that care about us. After this event, we can finally maybe start to heal as a family and move forward. We need your help. The families are hurting. For many of our wounded heroes, the greatest casualty 
is being forgotten. That's why your gift of just $19 a month is so important. Please call or go online right now. You're listening to me, your lovable host, L. Rod, here on The Rod Echo Show. Six zero three eight three five three two two six is the call in number should you wish to join me here live here on the Rod Echo Show. Uh, and we're having just a wonderful time here. Now to get into well, uh, to get into some more heady topics, which I'm sure most of you most of you uh are really waiting for me to uh to really dive into. Look, one of the reasons why I brought up the cigar thing, again it's government intervention. I mean, we're effectively, we're the only only nation that had an embargo on Cuba. No, just about every other nation on the planet that actually does some real and significant uh, trading with, with foreign partners, um, they, they didn't have a problem with trading with Cuba. And so our embargo really didn't hurt anything. Uh, except for the people, it didn't didn't help. The, it didn't hurt the Castro regime at all. Still hasn't hurt the Castro regime. Uh, and I know a lot of Americans were upset when Obama reopened diplomatic ties with Cuba and Raúl Castro. Well, I'm here to tell you, it's not a bad idea. And the reason is, is because now hopefully some of the people of Cuba will be able to actually, you know, eventually buy a, a a new car instead of driving around and trying to repair all these 1950s era Chevys. Yeah, you know, really. I mean, look, it, and because they opened they opened up relations with the US and, and thus they they became more open to the rest of the world as well, non-communist world. Uh look at all the people that that are trying to flee the island. Because they're they're more free to do so now, and uh, th- that's just the sign of the times. It's telling you exactly how bad it is. So hopefully, you know there can be some influence there. And you know, we don't look all this government over intervention is is really only hurts. Doesn't hurt. It, it's not hurting governments. You know our government puts the smack down on the Iranian government. Doesn't really hurt the Iranian government, obviously. I mean, they've, they've been doing just fine without all that money, and then they got the money. They didn't know what to do with it, so now they're spending it willy nilly on uh, you know, giving more of it to terrorist groups and buying more weapons. So they weren't hurting before, really. I mean, I, I know we get all this stuff. Well, you know, Iran's economy is devastated. They don't particularly care about the people. And, and not to mention, when you got such a totalitarian, totalitarian type of style of government, it's very difficult for the people to really fully understand what's going on outside their own little country. And therefore, they do not have the means nor the ability or the the uh, the intelligence. And, my, and I'm not saying that they're stupid. They're, they're just ignorant of what's going on around them because their government keeps them in the dark. So they don't know any better. So they're not going to there isn't going to be this this movement. Uh, to 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 overthrow their government and make changes like that. Look, you know, the United States started started off is something that that was it it was a time period. It was during the time period that made it sensible. If the United States was not the United States today, I guarantee you there would be there would be no real will. To revolt against England in the crown, there wouldn't be. You know, look, you don't see the French, you know, uh, storming the Bastille today. There's no real will to do that. There isn't any. So l- look at Venezuela. I mean, the, Venezuela, for crying out loud, they're a total and complete and utter mess. But are the people trying to overthrow their government? No. 
Well, I mean, it's, well, it's, it's a little bit more difficult for for some uh, nations to do that, the people of some nations, because they don't, you know, people aren't allowed to have weapons. But it, it, it doesn't really make a difference. I mean, North Korea, for crying out loud. I mean, you, you don't even get, you hardly get anybody who's trying to escape North Korea. Now, we try to smuggle in all this outside information, and it's still not getting around. What is it that uh, North Korea actually, this is how they do it, folks. Uh, North Korea, I get, they, they did a whoops, boo-boo, I guess. Uh, and their, their, their usually closed Internet system uh, was opened up, and I guess people were able to see it. And there are less than 30 websites on the North Korean Internet. So, you know, you got to be able to understand how people – see, this is the problem with, with, uh, with well, not just Americans, but – a lot of people in in in, in so-called "quote unquote" wealthier countries and freer countries, we look at the world through our own prism instead of the world through those people's. Eyes. You know, you, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to jump and get in somebody else's skin, right? You know, walk in some walk a mile in somebody else's shoes. Isn't that the saying? Something like that. You've got to understand how people view the world from their perspective. Another example, you know, we we here in, in in the United States we say, oh, somebody's only making five dollars a day or something. That's just ter- that's just terrible. That's ter- only five dollars a day. Well, it's not terrible for them. Five dollars a day is middle class in that country. Literally, you know, oh, bread might cost twenty cents for a loaf. You know, the equivalent of twenty cents here, not the equivalent of four bucks. When did bread get to be so damn expensive, by the way? It's just bread for crying out loud. You ever walk down the grocery, I mean, look, you go to supermarkets here, and it's even the smaller superettes or whatever they call them. You got, you got choices up the wazoo. You walk down the bread aisle, I mean, we got, we got, look how blessed this country is. I fully understand that. You go into a, a regular supermarket here in the United States, and you just don't have a couple of shelves of bread. No, 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 no. You've got an entire freaking aisle of bread choices. And you look at the price of some of that bread. If it's not the store brand, you know, you get the, the name brands or the whatever, you know, the, 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 the hoity-toity kinds, and it's got this in it and that in it and all that. You can, you can easily pay 4 to $6 a loaf. Well... They're not, they're not, it doesn't cost in Bangladesh $4 a loaf for bread. So you, again, you have to look at these things in, in the eyes and from the perspective from the people within that country. You can't do it by sitting here because if you say, well, yeah, yeah, that, that's just terrible, $5 a day, that's slave labor. No, it's not slave labor. It's not. But but we, we we tend to think that we need to uh, our government tends to think that, that most Americans individually you know citizens we don't think we should be meddling in everybody else's we should just be we should be friendly we should be talking to them we should be you know have diplomatic relations and try to keep the peace sure because we're a peaceful nation we're a peace loving people we don't want to go to war but, you know you, hey you, you mess with us though we're gonna we're gonna f you up that's plain and simple that that should be clear to anybody out there. Unfortunately, that's no longer clear uh, the case anymore with this administration. And by the way, if we keep going down this road, Hillary Clinton is going to be the next president. She's going to continue and double down on the Barack Hussein Obama type of uh, a policy. And, and this country is going to you want to you know, can I I know there's a lot I got a lot of things here, folks. So let me just start getting to the meat of this stuff here. Everybody hates it. George W. Bush hates black people. Wasn't that what Conway uh, Conway West? I got something about his his wife too, by the way. Conway isn't uh, Conway West? Didn't he say George Bush hates black people? Were there any riots during the administration of George W. Bush? I, there weren't even any riots during the administration of William Jefferson Clinton, otherwise known as Billy Boy. I don't remember seeing any riots. Uh, hey, Bi- well, Bill was accused of, of raping a few women. Some of them were black. 
right? I didn't see anybody. Didn't Black Lives Matter didn't come come alive then. Where was that? This whole notion that that uh, uh, you know, well, well, cops killing black people. Hello, folks. Cops have been killing people for years. Most of it, most of it, justifiably so. You know, they're justified in pulling the trigger on on these criminals. Some of it, no. We'll admit that. Some of it, not so much. Let's take a quick call here. First call here on the Rod Eccles Show in the October surprise. You're on. What you got? Good morning. I'm doing great. Okay. Oh, I absolutely look you need to, the recent riots in in I guess LA is is starting to gear up for potential troubles too. The, we can't have another riot in, in Watts or something like that in LA. That would be just devastating. But you know, sh- look at Charlotte. Uh, it, 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 the, the police the first two days they said 70% of the arrest the people that they arrested uh had out of state uh, uh IDs, driver's licenses. Well, so they got to they got to bust these people in in order to have have this kind of stuff. Yeah, well, you know, we we have a we don't have a federal government that wants to up, seems to uphold the laws of the land. Uh, even even a le- Yeah, you know, I just got one warning for all those all those people who, you know, like the like the Zuckerbergs out there who think that they can, they can bring people that really. No, this is going to sound awful, but don't belong in that particular neighborhood because they don't deserve to be there because they haven't earned the right to be there. You know, some neighborhoods are more expensive than others. That's that's just a fact. And unless you earn it. Yeah, and so unless you earn the money to be in that neighborhood, you should not be there. But, you know, you got Obama and some of these liberals who are trying to force these people 
uh, into these neighborhoods, and these rich people think that they can hide behind their walls and their new bunkers and everything. But let me remind them that people of, of days of old, you know, storming the Bastille and all that kind of stuff, they got through stuff with, a, you know, those kind of walls and gates with a lot less tools than people have available to them today. <laughs> that would be true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, look, they're they're gonna there's gonna be. Well, I got something here on the on drones all over the place too. But you know, government is increasing the the use of drones on its own people here in this country. And I'm not talking just the cops. Although now now police departments are asking and begging to be able to arm drones police drones and before they you know no we're not going to arm police drones we're not going to they're just there you know to help us you know catch the criminals you know like a like a chopper in the sky type of thing it's just but it's a drone we're not going to now you got police departments asking if they can arm these things now they're, now they're saying well non-lethal um well it's a little difficult to use non-lethal most non-lethal weapons from the sky it's difficult to taser somebody from you know 500 feet in the air Yeah, well, I'm not going to definitely deny that. But, you know, this this whole notion that you're absolutely right, you're not going to be able to get – if Hillary Clinton is elected, you know, we've already seen the fundamental trans- – well, you know, she's, she's, she's talking about taking him out, that's for damn sure. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately, you know, they, uh, I don't know why all that stuff really happens that way, but um, (laughs) Uh uh-oh. I think I just I just lost him there. Um, now the glitches, folks. I told you, you can, sometimes you get them. Sometimes you get them. You can't you can't help it. But you know what? We uh, unfortunately it, it happened right then and there. But uh, gotta take a quick break, and we'll be right back anyway. <laughs> Talk. 
Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15. $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 800-595-2614 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 595-2614 to take your call now. Call 800-595-2614. That's 800-595-2614. Again, 800-595-2614. Hey folks, if you're anything like me, you spend a lot of time taking photos with your mobile phone or posting them to Facebook or Instagram, well did you know that you can actually be earning hundreds, even thousands of dollars each month just by uploading them to Instagram? Now, most people are skeptical at first, but this system is the real deal. You can get your hands on an evaluation copy of Instagram Profit, and you can be ready to see money flowing into your account. There are over 150 million users on Instagram, yet less than 1% of them are taking advantage of these money-making secrets. Now, if they knew they could be paying their rent, making their car payment, or just snapping photos and putting them onto Instagram, I bet they would be glued to their cell phones. There are only a limited number of these spots available, however. So if you visit MoneyMatters3.com right now, you can sign up to take advantage of all the special discounts. That's right, go to MoneyMatters, the number 3, Dot com and get all the info there. MoneyMatters3.com. Log on now. We've all heard of male enhancement, but now there's an expert on true male enhancement in the areas that really count. In Herb Ellis's book, Husband 2.0, Real Male Enhancement, you'll find answers to questions like, why doesn't she want to have sex? A quick start, quick results workout guide. Plus, what you can do as a side hustle to make money now. With all the great tips in this book, every man can benefit. Get the book, Husband 2.0, Real Male Enhancement, on Amazon.com. It started with a knock, but it wouldn't end there. What happens in the story next, many wouldn't understand, and most wouldn't believe. 5 plus 2 equals perfection by Samuel Rosette Jr. is a must read. The scriptures within are reminders of the ancient past and yet intriguingly infuses with texts which stand on the edge of the stage of relevancy. Available online at West Bow Press, Amazon, Books a Million, Barnes and Noble, and SamuelRosetteJr.com. Bring the rain. to Microsoft thing. You know, you think since Microsoft actually took over Skype that they would have gotten this all this stuff right by now and having it integrated with, uh, uh, you know, their own – because it is all Microsoft, right? Um, well, it is. And uh, somehow they can't seem to get it right. Um, it seems like Skype is fighting with Windows here on, on my computer. And, uh, but we'll work on it. I understand that some people said that they could not hear him. Uh, well, we'll try to fix that issue as well. I said, I'd, you know, like, last night, everything worked great. Got everything working. Pro- now, all of a sudden, it's, I don't know. The settings probably got changed when you close out stuff. And 
Oh, I gotta love, gotta love this Microsoft stuff. And I have my own issues with the new Microsoft 10. Don't like it at all. Gotta say, don't like it. Um, not a fan of it. Wish I could go back. But I'm still locked out on my desktop, by the way, because the Windows 10 changed my pass, my security password, and I don't know what it is yet. And none of that stuff that, to unlock it has worked. Yeah, all you, you guys are cheap out there, ripping us all off with your crap. Thousands of families affected by disasters, like the recent wildfires, urgently need support. You can help the American Red Cross provide warm meals, shelter, and hope to families when they need it most. Please donate today to Red Cross Disaster Relief to help people affected by disasters, big and small. Go to redcross.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS today. Your support is critical. We can't do it without you. See that cute little dog in the pet store window? Chances are it came from a puppy mill, a breeding facility that forces caged, neglected, and often sick dogs to churn out puppy after puppy to be sold for profit. Meanwhile, millions of wonderful, healthy pets end up in animal shelters. This leads to the killing of more than 9,000 by the end of today. But with one simple choice, you can help. Just by deciding to adopt instead of purchase your next pet. Animal shelters are full of amazing pets looking for a home. When you adopt your new best friend, not only are you saving a life, you're taking a stand against puppy mills. When your friends see the smart choice and impact you've made, they adopt their next pet and share with five of their friends, who share with five more. Before long, thousands get involved. Pet stores stop selling dogs from puppy mills, and even more lives are saved. And with your help, we can save them all. Visit bestfriends.org slash puppy mills to learn more. It's Thursday night, and you're grabbing drinks with some friends. Start it off with a pitcher for the table, which quickly becomes two. There's pool. And there's the photo booth. All right, everybody squeeze in. Say cheese. Followed naturally by an order of wings. And another. Can we get some extra ranch sauce? Then there's the ceremonial nightcap. So what are we doing this weekend? And lastly, it's back to the car, which, if you're buzzed... Could be the most expensive night of your life. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving, because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Every day, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps demonstrate their commitment to defend the American way of life. Since 1775, we have served our nation as a force in readiness. From combat operations to humanitarian assistance in every corner of the world. No matter where the mission takes us today or wherever our country needs us tomorrow, we always remember the land we call home. As Marines, we take a stand for each other, for our nation, for us all, the few, the proud, the Marines. It's pretty amazing when you consider that seven years ago, we didn't have the treatments we have now. We cure 80% of children with cancer. Go back 50 years, we were curing 20 to 30 percent. This is the miracle story of modern medicine. We understand what makes this cancer tick. And of course, without donors from around the world, this just couldn't happen. And there's one thing we're focused on, and that's beating this thing. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Finding cures, saving children. Learn more at stjude.org. Not on my watch, our military service members say, as they volunteer to serve as they move out, stand firm, and take fire. So not on our watch, we say, to the severely ill or injured veterans who can't get the care they deserve to live full and independent lives, even when there's no government funding or a nursing home seems like the only option. We won't leave one warrior behind. 
not on our watch. Join us at findwwp.org. The Red Cross responds to nearly 66,000 disasters every year, most of them house fires. Red Cross President and CEO Gail McGovern says you need to develop an evacuation plan and practice it, especially with your children. It takes just two minutes for a home to be engulfed in flames. Practice those drills. We all think our kids know what to do. They don't. We need to teach them. We have started a large campaign where we're going into vulnerable communities and helping install smoke alarms. Already 92 lives were saved, and four of those lives were saved by a five-year-old girl who remembered what we taught them during these fire drills, and she got her family out. We also have a slew of free apps that people can download onto their smartphones. It's what to do in every kind of disaster you can imagine, how to prepare and how to recover. To help support all the Red Cross does and to make a financial donation, go to redcross.org. That's redcross.org. Not on my watch, our military service members say, as they volunteer to serve, as they move out, stand firm, and take fire. So not on our watch, we say, to the severely ill or injured veterans who can't get the care they deserve to live full and independent lives, even when there's no government funding or a nursing home seems like the only option. We won't leave one warrior behind. Not on our watch. Join us at findwwp.org. You want to know what time it is? It's time to bring the rain. Zinc Media. Feel the power of knowledge. still live free or die, and I do not believe it's going to be changing anytime soon. Again, folks, thank you for being back here with yours truly, listening to my favorite program. No, I know some people are going to think, well, you like listening to yourself talk, don't you? Um, Well, no. You know, actually, I don't particularly like the sound of my voice. I don't, so I no, I don't like listening to myself talk. But it's the only voice I got. So uh, unless I unless I'm anybody remember Rich Little? Uh, he was a, a a voice impersonator, uh, one of the one of the original ones. And he was big back in the you know sixties and seventies, early eighties. Uh, and I do, I remember listening to a an interview with him once where he said that, that there are times when he forgets what his own voice sounds like because he's so good at imitating other other voices and he gets lost in those other voices sometimes but i don't do that so maybe i should uh, i want to apologize for the issue with skype somehow a setting somewhere got changed within skype because i was just trying to test it uh the different microphone settings um and, and such on skype by actually calling it myself while on the break and no sound was coming through so there's Another issue somewhere. Yeah, you know, I'm. You know, people always say, "Well, Rod, you ever afraid that people are going to try to get to you?" I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I don't believe that kind of stuff. But you know, one of the th- over the over the past week leading up to this program, I got hit by Skype or no, excuse me by uh, Twitter. Twitter. Now you got to understand, I've had this Twitter account since 2009, and I have done nothing new. Nothing has changed. I've been doing the same thing over and over for the past nine years. 
Now, all of a sudden, this past week, Twitter has been hit, hitting me three times to verify that I'm me because of spam activity. I'm like, are you kidding me? And the last time, they said, well, you, we're, we're, uh, you know, it's an automated system. Uh, we're going to send you a, a, a text to unlock your account. They locked it. Like, wh- wh- where did they get that number? And they, they give you no other option. It's got to be a text. Like, are you kidding me? So I sent them a rather, because rather, they sent me an, an email. Yeah, your account's been locked by because of the spam activity. Blah. So I, I sent them a response and telling them, you guys are out of your mind. First of all, you got the wrong phone number, so you're sending this unlock code to somebody else, not me. And two, I have not changed how I've interacted with Twitter since I first started in 2009. And I, I was not very pleasant. You know, you're supposed to be pleasant with people on this kind of stuff. But I was kind of a little irate. They, I didn't expect to hear, you know, well, we'll get back to you in a few days, you know, their automated thing. In less than 24 hours, they wrote me back saying, oh, we're sorry you got caught up in this spam type of filter thing and your account is unlocked and we'll make the necessary changes. Like, are you kidding me? How did I even get in, 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 that, in that type of system anyway? Well, I'll tell you how I got in that kind of system because my Twitter account has been blowing up with nothing but conservative views. That's how I got thrown into that system. I'm not stupid and neither are, neither are the American people. Now, uh, look, I, I fully understand that I don't own Twitter, and they can do with it as they please. I get that. I always tell people that. But at least the least you could do is be honest about it. If you don't want conservatives tweeting on your on Twitter, didn't just tell us. Don't go through all this bullshit. It's the same with Facebook and any other social media platform. If you don't want a certain group of people uh, on, on your platform, then just tell us. And we'll find something else. But don't put us through all this bullshit. Seriously. Which is why, folks, you need to spread your social media out. And mine is spread out. And I think, I think it's uh, available. If you go to rodeckles.net, you can see some of the, the social media that I, that I have. And I, I have a Facebook, Twitter, Google+. I thought Google Plus seems to be the most open, I guess. Uh, LinkedIn doesn't like like you to do too much in pl- the political realm because it's a professional type of thing. But you know, so, but I have a LinkedIn account, a uh, Google Plus, and a Pinterest. And I I have not heard of anybody getting shut down on Pinterest. Now maybe that'll be coming sometime. I don't know. But uh, there's a Pinterest account. Um, the radical show over there on Pinterest. Uh, so you know you can look that up. Um, I just find memes, and I even cr- when I create a meme, I, I put it up on Pinterest. Um, although it's not, I I haven't figured out how to share something directly off of Pinterest yet. I think uh, in order for me to, to ever, if I've ever shared anything off of Pinterest, I think I've had to actually down download the meme or the picture and save it and then repost it. I, I don't think Pinterest allows you to to repost outside of Pinterest. So if, the, if you can, I don't know how to do it. So I'll figure it out maybe sometime in the next decade. Um, but I haven't heard of Pinterest uh, doing um, whatever. And uh, so is there everybody? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Uh, in any case, what we have going on, we got a lot of other stuff to go over, but you know, yeah, check that, check that stuff out. See what we got going on uh, with the. Um, see what we got going on with uh, all the wonderful stuff with, um, you know, with um, the the social media stuff. See what the social media stuff is doing for you. Anyway, getting to the paper pile, I know it's over an hour into the program. Can you believe it's over an, an hour has gone by already? Over an hour. 
it's unbelievable how fast this program flies by. It gets away from me sometimes. I just don't, I don't, you know, it's hard to pay attention to the clock when I really get going. I know people want me to weigh in on um, on the, on the Hillary stuff. I got lots of stuff on Hillary. I am not. Uh, uh, I am not a huge. Obviously, I'm not a huge fan of the Clintons. And I am not a huge fan of the Clintons at all, and nobody can ever accuse me of being a fan of the Clintons because I never have been a fan of the Clintons. I don't think I ever will be a fan of the Clintons. But I don't. I don't. There's. There's no thinking about that. There's just no way I will ever be a fan of the of Billery. Never. Ever. Ever. In any case, there is some polling data uh, evidently out there. You know, can I say something about these stupid polls, folks? I am not enamored with polls. I don't believe in the poll stuff. Uh, you know, look, we've got all these polls out there talking about how Hillary is is losing support. You know, she's dropping, dropping. Trump is beating her in this state and that state and this battleground state, and he's tied with her this battleground. And and but then all of a sudden we get this national poll. Oh, Hillary's up by nine points. Well, how the hell is that possible when you just told me in a bunch of other stories that Hillary's campaign is panicking because she's down in all the she's down in Colorado, she's down in Wisconsin, she's down in Michigan, she's down in uh she you know she's losing ground in Pennsylvania. The only place she's not really losing ground is California, New York, and Massachusetts. But she's losing ground everywhere, but yet and still she still seems to be increasing her lead. Now it's a, it, what, what's the latest poll is is um Clinton leads by six points. I, are, are we supposed to really believe that now? And this is a national poll. This is even on the Newsmax. Hillary Clinton owns a six-point national lead over Donald Trump, according to the latest political monitor, uh, morning consult poll. Now, here's the problem with that. This is what a, where a lot of people go wrong when they look, when they look at these polls. National polls don't really count because we don't vote for the president simply by numbers. We have an electoral college system, which means you have to win state by state. So here's the deal. If you get here, see, here's the problem with the national polls, and this is how they, they skew them, thinking, think, making you think that Donald Trump could be losing. One, they oversample Democrats, and two, they oversample people in California and New York and Massachusetts and other liberal states. Well, those states aren't the only states that are voting. They're not the only states voting. If they were, or if we were only voting uh, voting by uh, an actual vote count, then you could say that, that, that Trump was really in trouble. But when you start breaking this down by state by state by state, Hillary Clinton's the one that's in trouble. Thank God. But you can't go by this old adage of a national poll. and people think well the polls can't be wrong rod what is it did does anybody remember president dewey yeah nobody remembers him because he didn't exist well i mean dewey existed but not as president All right. well I mean, th look, this is just the, from the last debate. Don't even get me. Well, I know people want, want me to get started on the debate, but that's history now. 
I, you know, I watched a debate. The debate was an hour and a half. I watched an hour of it. And I, 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 it was just painful to watch. It was painful. I just couldn't do it anymore. I did have fun on, on Twitter, however. Uh, <laughs> yes, that's a little evil laugh there. Um, I, 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 did, I did some, uh, well, on Twitter I was um, following, the because, you know, uh, the, the, the debate hashtag, and up popped Jill Stein a number of times. And every time I saw a tweet from her, I responded to that tweet. And I get it. I just I blasted her. I did. I was not. not I was so sarcastic. But then after a while, after about forty five minutes, I stopped seeing Jill Stein tweets. Now I'm not saying she stopped tweeting because of me. Not at all. It's just I didn't see. I didn't see any more for the, about the last ten or fifteen minutes when I was watching the debate. I mean, but she was just saying some stupid stuff. But, you know, we don't have to worry about her too much. She's still languishing down in, at 1% and 2%. Um, uh, Johnson's the guy you got to kind of have to worry about. Not not winning, but stealing votes, kind of like a Ross Perot. Because depending on the poll, again, polls, uh, you know, he's anywhere from, uh, I've, I've seen him as high as 15%. Now, that's insanity. That's dangerous. And a lot of people say, well, you know, you know a lot of the, the, these uh, Johnson people are coming from the Bernie Sanders camp. Well, no, I think they're coming from both sides, and a lot of them might be coming from the Republican side because, hey, you know, he's a libertarian, and we can't vote Trump, and we can't vote Hillary, so we got to vote, you know, like Ross Perot. Can't vote, can't vote George Bush and can't vote Bill Clinton, so we'll vote for Ross. Uh, Larry? I almost won it, Larry. I got 19%, Larry. over 19% of the vote, Larry. I can do it again. I think Gary Johnson is uh, thinking that he can do the same thing. But what he's going to end up doing, quite frankly, if, if you people fall for this, um, is a President Hillary Clinton. Yeah, don't doubt me. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 dollars of pill pharmacy prices again get viagra for less than three dollars a pill call 800-595-2614 today and save up to five hundred dollars and get 40 pills for just 99 dollars healthy man is fast easy and affordable operators are waiting at 595-2614 to take your call now call 800-595-2614 that's 800-595-2614 again 800-595-2614 Hey folks, if you're anything like me, you spend a lot of time taking photos with your mobile phone or posting them to Facebook or Instagram, well did you know that you can actually be earning hundreds, even thousands of dollars each month just by uploading them to Instagram? Now, most people are skeptical at first, but this system is the real deal. You can get your hands on an evaluation copy of Instagram Profit, and you can be ready to see money flowing into your account. There are over 150 million users on Instagram, yet less than 1% of them are taking advantage of these money-making secrets. Now, if they knew they could be paying their rent, making their car payment, or just snapping photos and putting them onto Instagram, I bet they would be glued to their cell phones. There are only a limited number of these spots available, however. So if you visit MoneyMatters3.com right now, you can sign up to take advantage of all the special discounts. That's right, go to MoneyMatters, the number 3, dot com and get all the info there moneymatters3.com log on now we've all heard of male enhancement but now there's an expert on true male enhancement in the areas that really count 
In Herb Ellis's book, Husband 2.0, Real Male Enhancement, you'll find answers to questions like, why doesn't she want to have sex? A quick start, quick results workout guide, plus what you can do as a side hustle to make money now. With all the great tips in this book, every man can benefit. Get the book, Husband 2.0, Real Male Enhancement, on Amazon.com. It started with a knock, but it wouldn't end there. What happens in the story next, many wouldn't understand and most wouldn't believe. 5 plus 2 equals perfection by Samuel Rosette Jr. is a must read. The scriptures within are reminders of the ancient past and yet intriguingly infuses with texts which stand on the edge of the stage of relevancy. Available online at West Bow Press, Amazon, Books a Million, Barnes and Noble, and SamuelRosetteJr.com. Bring the rain! Good to be back on the air. I gotta tell you, I I I missed it. Gotta tell you, I did miss it. Good to be back. And I'm glad all of you are out there listening as well. You know this um these polls, folks. You you really can't. The only thing that you should take take to heart about these polls is go ahead and believe them to the extent. That Donald Trump is the underdog, which means that you got to get out there and you got to work harder, because if you outwork the other side, then you're going to get Donald Trump elected. Now I got to I'm gonna, you know, I'm honest with people. People say they ask me all the time, well, who do you think is really going to win, Rod? I said, well, it's a it's a day by day thing. You know, there are some days I get the feeling that Donald Trump is really going to win it, and some days I I get filled with dread, thinking, oh my God, it's going to be President Hillary Clinton. I'm telling you that's the, well that's the truth. And it, it it's 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 a terrifying cuz you, you I because you know as much as I try I not to get sucked into all of this stuff uh from the lamestream media as far as uh you know the uh polls and all that kind of stuff and thinking that that Hillary is just walking away with this. I will say one thing. I don't know what the hell was going on during the debate. I don't I don't know. Because I got to tell you she looked like she was a robot, like she was a clone. That fake plastered smile. I mean, yeah, I I can't even understand how she was even talking the way she was, you know, smiling that way. I, you know, you you can't see me here because there's no video in the in the bunker eye studio, and I don't plan on having any video anytime soon. I, I I'm sorry, folks. I just don't don't see a need to. It's a radio program. If I want a TV show, I'll get you know, I'll do YouTube, uh, but. I don't understand how she was uh, – I don't understand how – well, you know, they had her They had her on something. Do they have those exoskeletons, too, yet and you can put under your clothing? I mean, do, you know, people look at her and say, you know, she's America's grandma. She's not my grandmother. Uh, but the woman is just watching her walk. She's not in the best of health. I'm sorry. She's just not. 
And I want to know, why is it that John McCain's health, who, John McCain, who was in perfectly good condition when he was running for president, uh, why was his health an issue? But Hillary Clinton, and he hasn't had, other than, you know, his you know war injuries, he hasn't had any major medical issues. Hillary Clinton has been having major medical issues since she was Secretary of State, that we know of. And now, but the, those issues are not major. The woman can't remember anything. I don't recall. I don't remember. How are you, how can you possibly not remember being briefed and trained on how to take care of and handle uh, certain types of government documents? How can you not? Uh, so she's got Alzheimer's. Remember Ronald Reagan? That's what they said about, no, it's Hillary. <laughs> You're listening to me, your lovable host, L. Rod, here on The Rod Echo Show. The Red Cross responds to nearly 66,000 disasters every year, most of them house fires. Red Cross President and CEO Gail McGovern says you need to develop an evacuation plan and practice it, especially with your children. It takes just two minutes for a home to be engulfed in flames. Practice those drills. We all think our kids know what to do. They don't. We need to teach them. We have started a large campaign where we're going into vulnerable communities and helping install smoke alarms. Already 92 lives were saved, and four of those lives were saved by a five-year-old girl who remembered what we taught them during these fire drills, and she got her family out. We also have a slew of free apps that people can download onto their smartphones. It's what to do in every kind of disaster you can imagine, how to prepare and how to recover. To help support all the Red Cross does and to make a financial donation, go to redcross.org. That's redcross.org. I'm just so happy my father had a chance to see his kids before he passed. I just want to say thank you. When her father fell ill, the American Red Cross was able to help get Veronica's brother home from the Navy to speak to his father one last time. It's thanks to your donations that we can connect military families when they need it most. Please donate today at redcross.org. It's Thursday night, and you're grabbing drinks with some friends. Started off with a pitcher for the table, which quickly becomes two. There's pool. And there's the photo booth. All right, everybody squeeze in. Say cheese. Followed naturally by an order of wings. And another. Can we get some extra ranch sauce? Then there's the ceremonial nightcap. So what are we doing this weekend? And lastly... It's back to the car, which, if you're buzzed, could be the most expensive night of your life. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving, because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Every day, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps demonstrate their commitment to defend the American way of life. Since 1775, we have served our nation as a force in readiness. From combat operations to humanitarian assistance in every corner of the world. No matter where the mission takes us today or wherever our country needs us tomorrow, we always remember the land we call home. As Marines, we take a stand for each other, for our nation, for us all, the few, the proud, the Marines. I considered suicide so I wouldn't put my family through all the pain. Many of our warriors are returning home from the battlefield only to face a new war as they struggle with devastated injuries. At Wounded Warrior Project, we understand. We're there to help. Even though you think you're broken, you're not. 
it's the physical and the emotional healing that Wounded Warrior Project provides. With a gift of just $19 a month, you can join Wounded Warrior Project. You'll help provide critically needed programs and services that rebuild lives. Beautiful. Woo! There you go, buddy. The ongoing needs of our wounded and their families will continue for many years to come. Now is the time to show your support. Call now or go online with your gift of just $19 a month and we'll send you this Wounded Warrior Project blanket. It made me feel that there's people out there that care about us. After this event, we can finally maybe start to heal as a family and move forward. We need your help. The families are hurting. For many of our wounded heroes, the greatest casualty is being forgotten. That's why your gift of just $19 a month is so important. Please call or go online right now. I, your lovable host, sitting here in the Freedom Throne. That's a chair for those of you out there in Rush Limbaugh's Rio Linda. Uh, got something important here for y'all. I don't, I don't know if any of you have gotten this yet, uh, but I just got something, and you need to be very, very careful with it. And that is, if you're on Facebook, if you're getting something from Facebook, uh, you know, in, in a message, in a message um, that is, well, a, pri- a private message that that has your picture on, in the message. Well, first of all, one of your friends has got had their, their their account hacked, and they should probably take care of it post haste, but. I just got this, and it's really, really slick, because it has your profile picture, and then it says your name, and it says video. It says video, your name video, and you click on it, and if you're not careful, you're not paying attention, it looks, it even says YouTube up in the, up, you know, at the top of the screen. But it's not YouTube, and they got it looking a lot like YouTube. And because it looks like YouTube, the first thing I did was, you know, I click play. And then it wants to download something. you got to have this or this in order to play it. I'm like, what? That's not YouTube. And I looked at the, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the address, not YouTube, and I paid, a close, I paid closer attention to the page, not YouTube. It says it's YouTube, but it's not. No, obviously, I did not download anything it was asking me to download. Uh, yeah, as if I need, I've already got enough troubles with my computer, so I like, like I need more. But, you know, people, you need to pay attention to, you. if you have, um, if you have friends, you know, and they send you something that's really weird or wonky, tell them. Send them a private message. Don't do it right away, because what will happen is, is that, if you if you respond to it right then and there, what happens is, and I've actually done this, what happens is, is you actually start conversing with the spammer, the hacker. So you've got to give it a little while so the hacker moves on. So you can send the message to your uh, to your Facebook friend and let them know that their their page most likely has uh, has been hacked and they need to change their password. And things like that, because I, it's really it, these people are getting really slick. These scam artists um, and identity—they're getting really, really slick, and uh, they're they're getting slick in, in, in sliding stuff, um, uh, attaching stuff to legitimate downloads as well. So, again, you got to be very careful. You, you better have an up-to-date anti-spam, anti-virus type of. Uh, program in your computer 
uh, which is really sad. I'm thinking about setting up my own private network so I can actually put up a real firewall um, and, and, and have a real uh, break between the internal and external um, I- internet portions of my my internet. Um, I, I guess it really you just you just need a a, a reliable computer. You know, it doesn't even have to be all that powerful. It just has to be reliable because it's always going to be on, and you're going to filter everything through that computer. So I've been thinking about that as, as doing that as well. But and unfortunately that we have to go through such lengths to do and, and you know people are afraid of government snooping well you know government can still get in but um you know might as well make it not make it easy for them i still get people today to this uh, when you post something on the internet especially social media it's out there for everybody to see and you can never take it back I'm still hearing people today, well, that was meant, not meant to be for everybody. That was private. Like, you don't. Well, I did it on Snapchat. You idiot. As soon as it's out there, it's a, and here's the reason why. Because people think that they can be slick and they can post something, and then you know, like five minutes later they can erase it. No, there's a problem with that. The problem is not that you didn't delete it. The problem is, is that doesn't get to the Internet. Your deletion does not hit the entire World Wide Web instantly. Sometimes, depending on the servers, whatever they call those things, uh, it can take 24 hours for it to be fully effective. No, I, well, I, I remember somebody that, uh, out in... Um, uh, Washington State, who kept telling me that, you know, well, you know, Rod, why do you take so long updating your website? I'm like, what do you mean? It says to update it right after the show. I'm like, well, no, it's the same old one, and you know, until like a day later. It come to find out where, you know, his internet was being routed through a server that, um, in, in a server system, internet server system that, that took 24 hours to update. Now, can you imagine? You think you're deleting something, but it's still out there for 24 up to 24 hours. This is why you cannot post stuff that you're going to regret and expect that you want to take it down and nobody else can see it. That's just not the case. It's not instantaneous. It's not. So I'm just, you know, people got to be, you got to use your brain. We're... I don't know, we're, what are we, a nation of people that can't use their brains anymore? No, there's no common sense. You know, that's the, pr- that's the big problem with, with the, the millennial generation. Again, I'm just broad stroke here, not everybody. Uh, millennials have, have a very bad sense of common sense. I, you used to be able to chalk certain things up. Well, you know, they, they're teenagers. You know, most teenagers do stupid stuff like that or college student. We're not talking teenagers and college students anymore. We're talking 30-something. Doing these – I, I read some of these news reports and stuff. And I'm like, well, what, is, 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 the, is that, that person like 15? Come to find out they're like 32. Are you kidding me? There's no common sense. And, and, and don't try challenging them. Uh, you know, did you think about this? Uh, no. Well, why not? I don't have time to think about stuff like that. Really. No time to think. I don't know. Th- thinking doesn't, you know, doesn't often well, for these people, doesn't often take a whole hell of a lot of time. Uh, Republicans wonder if Trump can recover from worst week ever. Don't they say that like every week for Trump? Just about. It's his worst week ever, man. Can he recover? Can he recover? They've been saying that for the past year and a half about Trump. Can he recover? 
Newsmax has this. Uh, the worst week of Donald Trump's presidential campaign began with the widely criticized debate performance and ended with a bombshell report that he could have avoided paying federal income taxes for 18 years. How is that a problem? I tell you how it's a problem. It's a real problem for Trump simply because these stupid, idiotic people out there, voters, think that if you don't pay income taxes, somehow you, you're, you're, you're doing something illegal. Might I remind all of you that Donald Trump and anybody else who pays zero in federal income taxes doesn't mean they pay zero taxes. And that they're using the tax code to their advantage. Who, by the which, by the way, was written by a bunch of elitists. People like Hillary Trump wrote the tax code. And I don't see a, one single freaking liberal out there paying any more than they have to in federal taxes. If it is legal for Donald Trump not to pay any federal income taxes, then why is that a big deal? All of us out here wish we could do the same thing. The problem is, unless you're a business owner, you have no shot at paying zero federal income taxes. None. You're a wage earner. And let me tell you that the, the tax code, almost from the beginning, was designed and meant to hit the wage earner. Not the business owner. Why do you think businesses have so many deductions and individual wage owners earners have so few? But you want to go out and complain that Donald Trump isn't paying federal income taxes. Well, the problem isn't that, that Donald Trump isn't, isn't paying federal income taxes because he's legally not paying them. He's gotten him down to zero. The problem is in the tax code is that your wonderful liberal Democrats, every time they want to raise taxes, it ends up hurting you the most because you're the frickin' wage earner. We're going to raise business taxes. Oh, BS are going to raise business taxes. We already got the highest business tax rate in the, in the world. What are, we, what are we standing at, 35%? That's ridiculous. But that's not the effective rate. Well, you know, get rid of all the deductions, but lower the tax rate. I mean, this is this is insanity to, to to say that somehow, and this for 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 the right leaning press to to reiterate the fact that it's a problem that Donald Trump hasn't paid personal income taxes, that is not a problem. You know what a problem is? You know what the real problem is that Hillary and Bill Clinton are worth over a hundred million dollars, and they have never owned a business. The Clinton Foundation is not a business. It's supposed to be a charity. Yet somehow these people have amassed a a, 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 a one percenter fortune in less than a decade with no business on her salary and Bill's retirement salary. Really? So technically their salaries are about a half million dollars a year. How do you get from a half million dollars and grow a year and grow it to over a hundred million dollars without a business, without investing in stocks? I, you know, we, the Clintons don't have a lot of stock according to their their filings. But that's not a problem. Nobody wants to really dig deep into the Clinton finances, but we want to we want to see Don we want to see Donald Trump's income taxes because we know he hasn't paid any federal hasn't legally paid any federal income tax in 18 years. Well, I tell you what. I'll I'll be interested in Donald Trump's income tax returns. If the lamestream media delves into and opens up the Clintons' financials. I'll go back to, I'll say, yeah, Donald Trump released 20 years of your tax returns. 
if they just simply go back to 2001 for Bill and Hillary. I mean, do, 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 you, do you see the problem with this stuff? There's a huge problem with, with the perception of how this stuff actually works. And the Clintons are, they, well, I hate to use the term, but the Clintons are getting away with murder. They're getting away with, with murder on this. And I know some people think that the Clintons have actually committed murder. Um, look, that's a whole nother scandal. I, you know, it's, it's <laughs> the first thing I'd, if I were, if I were other people surrounding Clinton, the first thing, the last thing I'd want the Clintons to say is, uh, yeah, they're a friend of mine. I would not want to be a friend of the Clintons because too many of their friends and acquaintances, um, over the years have ended up dead. There's a guy who used to constantly post a list of, of Clinton associates that died under mysterious circumstances. Uh, he used to post it. Yeah, he used to like spam in the comment areas anytime there was anything political talk and it's, that involved the Clintons. He would he would post this in in the in the comments, and the list was staggering. Now I know I look. I know a lot of people, uh, you know, in politics. If they've been around in politics for a long time, you know, and a lot of them have been around for. They've had people that have mysteriously died all of a sudden. But nobody has the list as long and as extensive as the Clintons. I mean, look, the Clintons put the mafia to shame, to tell you the truth. Well, are you saying that, that they pulled the trigger, that they killed? No, I'm not saying that at all. In fact, you know, if anything, they're like the old mafia dons and, and old mafia bosses. They didn't, uh, those guys didn't get their hands dirty. He had underlings do it. Much harder to to, uh, to catch you if you if you don't do it yourself. If you put some distance between you and the actual deed, you have somebody else do it. And obviously, if you're you know if you're in the White House and the president, it makes it even a little bit more difficult for you to go out there and get a gun and and, and off somebody, or cut their you know their brake lines or something. Um, but you can have other people do it. Anybody watch House of Cards? You know, he 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 sent his minion out there to try to kill somebody. He failed, but he still tried to have them do it. Can't wait for the new season of that, by the way. See what happens. Voting. Will will he survive? Well, he's but that's you know it's amazing how fiction turns out to mimic reality, even before the reality is a reality. It's kind of it's, kind of, it's almost as if somebody out there, people out there in the industry, know what's going to happen in the real world, and they put it in their stories and the, in their TV programs and movies before it actually happens in real life, so people think it's nothing more than just a movie. Do you think Hollywood is in collusion with uh, the Democrat Party and the Clintons? Oh, yeah, I think so. I think so, big time. Don't doubt me on that one, folks. Don't doubt me. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15. 
$15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 800-595-2614 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 595-2614 to take your call now. Call 800-595-2614. That's 800-595-2614. Again, 800-595-2614. Hey folks, if you're anything like me, you spend a lot of time taking photos with your mobile phone or posting them to Facebook or Instagram. Well, did you know that you can actually be earning hundreds, even thousands of dollars each month just by uploading them to Instagram? Now, most people are skeptical at first, but this system is the real deal. You can get your hands on an evaluation copy of Instagram Profit, and you can be ready to see money flowing into your account. There are over 150 million users on Instagram, yet less than 1% of them are taking advantage of these money-making secrets. Now, if they knew they could be paying their rent, making their car payment, or just snapping photos and putting them onto Instagram, I bet they would be glued to their cell phones. There are only a limited number of these spots available, however. So if you visit MoneyMatters3.com right now, you can sign up to take advantage of all the special discounts. That's right, go to MoneyMatters3.com and get all the info there. MoneyMatters3.com. Log on now. We've all heard of mail enhancement. But now, there's an expert on true male enhancement in the areas that really count. In Herb Ellis' book, Husband 2.0, Real Male Enhancement, you'll find answers to questions like, why doesn't she want to have sex? A quick start, quick results workout guide. Plus, what you can do as a side hustle to make money now. With all the great tips in this book, every man can benefit. Get the book, Husband 2.0, Real Male Enhancement, on Amazon.com. It started with a knock, but it wouldn't end there. What happens in the story next, many wouldn't understand, and most wouldn't believe. 5 plus 2 equals perfection by Samuel Rosette Jr. is a must-read. The scriptures within are reminders of the ancient past, and yet intriguingly infuses with texts which stand on the edge of the stage of relevancy. Available online at West Bow Press, Amazon, Books A Million, Barnes & Noble, and SamuelRosetteJr.com. Bring the rain. To, to wind down hour number two of the October surprise. Hour to, to two hours almost fl- gone by. Just flown by already. Uh, un- unbelievable. I uh, I just, I, I can't believe it. How fast things are going. Hey, um, the, 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 the wonderful left is at it again. Well, you know, in, in, in this particular case, I'm referring to the wonderful global warming people. Yes, global warming. Global warming has not gone away, folks. I know some people wish it, that, that they think that, that it has been kilt, but it has not been kilt. It has not been kilt dead. This from the Times. .co.uk, the Times, air pollution. When I read this headline, I thought that's not really the case, right? This is sensationalism. No, this is real stuff. This is actually real stuff. Air pollution. Pollution. No, nothing. Just pollution, folks. Remember that. Keep that in mind. Air pollution. Nothing else. Involved with that, just air pollution is blamed for increases in road traffic accidents. 
Heavy pollution makes people drive more dangerously, according to the first study to link dirty air with road accidents. Yes, yeah, scientists have already established that being exposed to airborne, airborne pollutants such as ozone and microparticles of soot, even for a few hours, can harm children's test scores at schools and make workers in factories and call centers less productive. So, <laughs> air pollution, folks is the cause of the stupidity that's running rampant in our nation. Air it causing accidents and test yeah. air pollution is the global warming, man-made pollution is the cause to everything sinister in mankind. Thousands of families affected by disasters like the recent wildfires urgently need support. You can help the American Red Cross provide warm meals, shelter, and hope to families when they need it most. Please donate today to Red Cross Disaster Relief to help people affected by disasters, big and small. Go to redcross.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS today. Your support is critical. We can't do it without you. See that cute little dog in the pet store window? Chances are it came from a puppy mill. A breeding facility that forces caged, neglected, and often sick dogs to churn out puppy after puppy to be sold for profit. Meanwhile, millions of wonderful, healthy pets end up in animal shelters. This leads to the killing of more than 9,000 by the end of today. But with one simple choice, you can help. Just by deciding to adopt instead of purchase your next pet. Animal shelters are full of amazing pets looking for a home. When you adopt your new best friend, not only are you saving a life, you're taking a stand against puppy mills. When your friends see the smart choice and impact you've made, they adopt their next pet and share with five of their friends, who share with five more. Before long, thousands get involved. Pet stores stop selling dogs from puppy mills, and even more lives are saved. And with your help, we can save them all. Visit bestfriends.org slash puppy mills to learn more. It's Thursday night, and you're grabbing drinks with some friends. Start it off with a pitcher for the table, which quickly becomes two. There's pool. And there's the photo booth. All right, everybody, squeeze in. Say cheese. Followed naturally by an order of wings. And another. Can we get some extra ranch sauce? Then there's the ceremonial nightcap. So what are we doing this weekend? And lastly, it's back to the car, which, if you're buzzed... ...could be the most expensive night of your life. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving, because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Every day, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps demonstrate their commitment to defend the American way of life. Since 1775, we have served our nation as a force in readiness. From combat operations to humanitarian assistance in every corner of the world. No matter where the mission takes us today or wherever our country needs us tomorrow, we always remember the land we call home. As Marines, we take a stand for each other, for our nation. For us all, the few, the proud, the Marines. It's pretty amazing when you consider that seven years ago, we didn't have the treatments we have now. We cure 80% of children with cancer. Go back 50 years, we were curing 20 to 30%. This is the miracle story of modern medicine. We understand what makes this cancer tick. And of course, without donors from around the world, this just couldn't happen. There's one thing we're focused on, and that's beating this thing. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Finding cures, 
saving children. Learn more at stjude.org. Not on my watch, our military service members say, as they volunteer to serve, as they move out, stand firm, and take fire. So not on our watch, we say, to the severely ill or injured veterans who can't get the care they deserve to live full and independent lives, even when there's no government funding or a nursing home seems like the only option. We won't leave one warrior behind. Not on our watch. Join us at findwwp.org. The Red Cross responds to nearly 66,000 disasters every year, most of them house fires. Red Cross President and CEO Gail McGovern says you need to develop an evacuation plan and practice it, especially with your children. It takes just two minutes for a home to be engulfed in flames. Practice those drills. We all think our kids know what to do. They don't. We need to teach them. We have started a large campaign where we're going into vulnerable communities and helping install smoke alarms. Already 92 lives were saved, and four of those lives were saved by a five-year-old girl who remembered what we taught them during these fire drills, and she got her family out. We also have a slew of free apps that people can download onto their smartphones. It's what to do in every kind of disaster you can imagine, how to prepare and how to recover. To help support all the Red Cross does and to make a financial donation, go to redcross.org. That's redcross.org. Not on my watch, our military service members say, as they volunteer to serve, as they move out, stand firm, and take fire. So not on our watch, we say, to the severely ill or injured veterans who can't get the care they deserve to live full and independent lives, even when there's no government funding or a nursing home seems like the only option. We won't leave one warrior behind. Not on our watch. Join us at findwwp.org. You want to know what time it is? It's time to bring the rain. Zinc Media. Feel the power of knowledge. come up with all these weird types of uh, uh, classes and courses and degree programs that all these wonderful millennials have have uh, taken and spent thousands and thousands of dollars on only to find out that they were worthless and that there was no real translation into the real world or the working world uh, for those types of courses or degrees. Um, look, hey. You know, you you parents out there, you spent a lot of this, a lot of your money on this stuff, and you're wondering why it's coming back to bite you in the ass. Well, this is why. I'm just saying, you know, air pollution that that explains a lot, does it not? Uh, it, it makes people stupid, I guess. So don't if you go outside, hold your breath. You know, don't be breathing any any of that uh, air pollution. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. It is I, your lovable host, Elrod, once again coming to you live from the refurbished Bunker Eye studio somewhere within the great Granite state of New Hampshire, where the state motto is still on this day. And I checked this morning. It is still live free or die, not big government or bust. Uh, I would read you the phone number, but I don't think that it is whatever. It's, it's, Skype is not active acting properly and it's not the people who are calling are not I, and I just, over the break I just tried again and the sound is not coming through at all nowhere I mean it's not, not just it's not coming through to the uh, uh, to the soundboard to play out to you it's not I can't hear anything um, 
So it's like it's not it's not picking up. I don't know. Whatever the the the, the connection is, we'll figure it out. I guess I don't know somewhere deep, some uh, obscure place that you've got to go to in order to change a setting somewhere. We'll probably fix the problem. Flip a switch. But uh, it's always it's never anything simple. You know, they can never they always got to bury stuff that you need. You ever you ever realize that in a lot of software, especially if it's Microsoft, if it's something that you would use regularly or need to get to quickly, they bury it in the most unlikely spots. You know, you want to be able to control uh, the volume on Skype. Where do you where do you go to do that? Oh, you got to click in tools. How, why would volume control and how you how you listen to stuff be in tools? Yeah, that's Microsoft for you. Know. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, I'm correct in that. Microsoft owns Skype, right? They have for years. Um, one one of the things that uh, another thing I hate with Microsoft is that they they were there was a guy there was a story over the summer or a few weeks ago about a gentleman. Who sued Microsoft for updating his computer to Windows 10 without his permission? Now, evidently, I, I don't, the story made it seem like or sound like that Microsoft settled and paid him 600 bucks because the guy had to. He didn't want it. He didn't authorize it. He had to deconstruct his computer and then reconstruct it to the old with the old operating system. But he lost all, you know, whatever he didn't back up and save, he lost that data. Um, so he, and it took him a couple of days to do that, I guess. Well, if this guy knows what he's doing, it took him a couple of days. He can forget it with me because they did the same thing with my my desktop. And, and, and here here is how I figured out how they did it. Very sneaky. Now, pay attention to this in the future. I'm going to be paying attention to this in the future because it's very sneaky. Because they would ask you, you know, do, do you want to upgrade to Windows 10? This is how they did. You want to upgrade to Windows 10? No. You, cl- you, you kept clicking, and they would ask me at least once a week, and I'd say no, no. Well, evidently, the last time they asked me, they changed it. And I didn't pay attention to it. All I did, because you were trained to say no, because you didn't want it. And basically how it was worded, I guess, is do you want to upgrade now? And I probably hit no. Well, not realizing it, that now meant, saying no to now meant that your computer would upgrade at a later time. And that's exactly what it did. And then it went ahead and changed passwords on me. And now I can't get back into my desktop. And I've tried some of these, you know, these uh, these password assistant. And it tells you, you know, the the, the computer tells you, well, you know, uh, uh, insert the password assistance disk that you created. It never told me to create. I've never heard of such a thing. Never told me to create that. Never. Never got any. I got prompts before when I first got the machine to create a rescue disk, but that's not the same as a password disk. Because I, trust me, it doesn't work because I've inserted the rescue disk and it says, you know, that this is not a password disk. Okay. Oh, okay. And by the way, the rescue disks, in order to bring back the computer, to its original form, because the operating system has changed, I need to create a new rescue disk. I didn't know that either, because the old one doesn't work. Didn't tell you all that stuff. And all these programs, I, you know, I go online trying to figure out how to do this. This is well, download this program. You know, you put you you put it on a on a flash flash drive, whatever. And stick. I've tried three different ones. Not a single one of them works. So I got to try to figure out the password or figure out some software. That act, if you know software that actually works to fix this issue, let me know. Because I've tried three different programs, and I've tried, you know, the past, you know, two months trying to figure out what this freaking password could have been changed to. Can't do it. I have no clue. So, and, and the only reason why I haven't blown it up and taken it to somebody to blow it up, because there's, there's a lot of data on there that I have not 
you know, backed up to the cloud or something. You know, I should have listened to those Rush commercials. One day you're going to lose your data and you're going to wish you backed it up. I'm like, yeah, no, nah, I get it backed up pretty significantly. I don't need to have everything on my computer backed up. Well, lo and behold, you know, nothing that, that you know, my, comp- my desktop didn't, like, fall apart or anything. It didn't break down. It was due to Microsoft doing something I didn't authorize them to do. Kind of like government doing that a lot, huh? You know, they do stuff that, that we the people don't authorize them to do. You know, I, look, I own the freaking machine. You know, Microsoft and all you software people out there, sure, you can, after I buy it from you, you can still have some, maintain some sort of um, uh, rights or ownership to your software. But you do not own my machine. And unless I tell you that you can actually change, that should be freaking illegal. Unless I tell you and give you express permission to change something on my machine, your hands don't come into my computer with your stupid software updates. Well, we get the right to tell you when you no you don't because it's my freaking machine. I bought it under certain conditions knowing what I was buying. I didn't I didn't buy Windows 10. I don't want Windows 10. If I want Windows 10, I'll go out and buy a stupid machine with Windows 10 on it. It's kind of like the Vista thing. Now every every time I turned around, because I had an XP machine, every time I turned around, yeah, upgrade to this, upgrade here, upgrade, you know, Vista, Vista, Vista. No, I don't want Vista socks. Nobody like Vista. It's one of Microsoft's shortest lived operating systems, by the way. I wonder why. It's junk is why. It was like Microsoft, it was like Windows 2000 was junk too. Everybody, they're trying to get everybody to, to move away from 98. 98 is old. That 98 worked. You're, you know, in the history of micro, isn't that pretty sad? Uh, I don't know what, what other big software companies were like, but Microsoft's batting average has not been very good. They've had, really, they've had two um, operating systems that people have actually loved that actually really worked and was had very few bugs. That was 98 Second Edition and XP. All the others people couldn't wait to get rid of. I wonder if 10 is going to be the same. Uh, if, if I didn't know any better, I'd say Microsoft hired a bunch of government people to develop their software. Really? I mean, they, they, they must be government. They really they, they have to be. Because no, nobody in the private sector could possibly that be that inept. I'm just saying. It has to be government. Air pollution is still probably in the air over your college community um, as well. Sure, it's making it's you know maybe that explains a lot. You know, air pollution could be making these pr- uh, computer programmers and and, and engineers uh, stupid, stupider. I mean, stupid is not a word, Rod. I know you're supposed to say more stupid, but let's just go along with stupider, shall we? It's making people stupider, right? Because, you know, getting in more car accidents. Well, evidently, that's also translating into um, man-hating as well. Yeah, folks, if I – another one of those one of those headlines that you, you, you first read and think, what, is this the National Enquirer? This is a joke. This is The Onion or something, right? No, 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 no. From the telegraph.co.uk, it's still a shame that I get, that you got to find overseas publications to talk about what's going on in this country. And the Brits must still love the USA because t- they've got more stuff. The British public British newspapers publish more real news about what's going on in the USA than U.S. newspapers do. That's pretty damn sad. U.S. University offers course. For men to deconstruct toxic max- masculinities. All of a sudden, being masculine is toxic. 
So the further wimpification of men. Oh, let's, let's make all let's make all the men like women. Uh, look, I'm wish I was making this stuff up, folks. But that's what they're out to try to do. They're trying to make men be like women. And men are not women. No, oh, I know. We're, 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 we're supposed to, you know, the, the sexes are the same, right? You know, we're, we're equal, Rod. We're equal. Equal in everything. Don't you get it? Equal, equal, equal. Equal means equal. What, do, what, what about equal do you not understand, Rod? Some people are more equal than others, you know. Well, here's the rub. Duke University, you know, that wonderful institute in North Carolina. Duke is not an Ivy League school, but it's like it. It's an Ivy League-like school. You know, Duke is very revered. It's been around for a long time, you know, as far as colleges are go in this country and universities. It's been around for a long time. It's very prominent. It's rather, it's, it's, it's a large university, you know, student population-wise. But Duke University, that wonderful esteemed institute of higher learning in North Carolina, held its first learning community session last week. The Women's Center has organized a nine-week series of seminars as part of the Duke Men's Project. So women, college women, are designing a program for men. Now, with sexual harassment and sexism remaining hot topics on American university campuses, or is it Camp I, the university has created the seminar series under the banner of the Men's Project. And here's what they said. Uh, on the Men's Project's website, it says, Our purpose is twofold, to foster constructive male allyship and to question and deconstruct toxic masculinities. Yeah, that's 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 what you know. Allyship. Now I know a lot of you in um, in 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 Rush Limbaugh's Rhea Linda do not know what the word allyship means, and I must admit I too had to look it up. But here it is. Here is a definition of allyship: A L L Y S H I P, an active, consistent, and arduous practice of unlearning and re reevaluating in which a person of privilege seeks to operate in solidarity with a marginalized group of people. Allyship is not an identity. It is a lifelong process of building relationships based on trust, consistency, and accountability with marginalized individuals or groups. So men, simply by being men, are now privileged. And men need to be more like women, in other words, feminized, so they don't so they're not so privileged because, you know, after all, women are so underprivileged in this country. I you know, folks, I don't know, sometimes it just, I just your your head just wants to explode. Oh, that that might be the air pollution. I, seriously. Better watch out. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15. 
$15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 800-595-2614 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 595-2614 to take your call now. Call 800-595-2614. That's 800-595-2614. Again, 800-595-2614. Hey, folks. If you're anything like me, you spend a lot of time taking photos with your mobile phone or posting them to Facebook or Instagram. Well, did you know that you can actually be earning hundreds, even thousands of dollars each month just by uploading them to Instagram? Now, most people are skeptical at first, but this system is the real deal. You can get your hands on an evaluation copy of Instagram Profit, and you can be ready to see money flowing into your account. There are over 150 million users on Instagram, yet less than 1% of them are taking advantage of these money-making secrets. Now, if they knew they could be paying their rent, Making a car payment or just snapping photos and putting them onto Instagram, I bet they would be glued to their cell phones. There are only a limited number of these spots available, however. So if you visit MoneyMatters3.com right now, you can sign up to take advantage of all the special discounts. That's right, go to MoneyMatters3.com and get all the info there. MoneyMatters3.com. Log on now. We've all heard of mail enhancement. But now, there's an expert on true male enhancement in the areas that really count. In Herb Ellis' book, Husband 2.0, Real Male Enhancement, you'll find answers to questions like, why doesn't she want to have sex? A quick start, quick results workout guide. Plus, what you can do as a side hustle to make money now. With all the great tips in this book, every man can benefit. Get the book, Husband 2.0, Real Male Enhancement, on Amazon.com. It started with a knock but it wouldn't end there. What happens in the story next, many wouldn't understand and most wouldn't believe. 5 plus 2 equals perfection by Samuel Rosette Jr. is a must read. The scriptures within are reminders of the ancient past and yet intriguingly infuses with texts which stand on the edge of the stage of relevancy. Available online at West Bow Press, Amazon, Books A Million, Barnes & Noble and SamuelRosetteJr.com Bring the rain! sure that um, I, in this deconstructing of, well, you know, women like guys to protect them. Now, look, I understand about the, the, the uh, you know, sexual assault and, and, and nobody, nobody who, who, no man who sexually assaults anybody is a man. Uh, uh, they're not. They're cowards. And I say anybody because th- there is a uh, – what was I was just reading a few days ago. Th- th- there's There's been an uptick lately. I guess, I guess we can relate this to air pollution. Uh, there's been an uptick, uptick in male rape victims. Now, uh, it, it – didn't say that it was uh, the, the article I was reading. It, it didn't say that it was only gay men being raped. Uh, but in, any any guy that is going to sexually assault anybody else is not a real man. A lot of that has to do with with um, a lot of that has to do with this feminization crap. We're making men mousy, so they don't even feel a lot of. They don't even feel confident anymore, even less so than they used. To. You know, it's very awkward for a guy to, to most guys to approach a woman, a woman. Uh, but 
now it's it, it it's such a point where where we've been told or these kids are now up to 35 years of age they've been told basically that if you approach a woman and, and, and quote unquote hit on them that's sexual harassment so the, there's there's no there's no way for them to to I, I guess you just got to go to a dating service, but I'm surprised they're not saying that dating dating services aren't sexual harassment now. That, that's coming to that point, folks. It's getting to that point. Uh, but you, they, they've totally emasculated men. So now you got a bunch of wimpy guys running around who don't know what the f they're doing or how they should be feeling. And, and they got raging hormones, and they feel so guilty about having these hormones raging through their bodies. Well, you're a guy. It doesn't mean that you go ahead and, and, and you and you use that your greater strength. But although a lot of these guys today are physically not stronger than than women either, I mean it's just it's just ridiculous. It, uh, hey, again, that must be having something to do with all that air pollution out there, folks. But I, do you really want to send your son to a college where he's educated? On how not to be a man. The Red Cross responds to nearly 66,000 disasters every year, most of them house fires. Red Cross President and CEO Gail McGovern says you need to develop an evacuation plan and practice it, especially with your children. It takes just two minutes for a home to be engulfed in flames. Practice those drills. We all think our kids know what to do. They don't. We need to teach them. We have started a large campaign where we're going into vulnerable communities and helping install smoke alarms. Already 92 lives were saved, and four of those lives were saved by a five-year-old girl who remembered what we taught them during these fire drills, and she got her family out. We also have a slew of free apps that people can download onto their smartphones. It's what to do in every kind of disaster you can imagine, how to prepare and how to recover. To help support all the Red Cross does and to make a financial donation, go to redcross.org. That's redcross.org. I'm just so happy my father had a chance to see his kids before he passed. I just want to say thank you. When her father fell ill, the American Red Cross was able to help get Veronica's brother home from the Navy to speak to his father one last time. It's thanks to your donations that we can connect military families when they need it most. Please donate today at redcross.org. It's Thursday night, and you're grabbing drinks with some friends. Started off with a pitcher for the table, which quickly becomes two. There's pool. And there's the photo booth. All right, everybody, squeeze in. Say cheese. Followed naturally by an order of wings. And another. Can we get some extra ranch sauce? Then there's the ceremonial nightcap. So what are we doing this weekend? And lastly... It's back to the car, which, if you're buzzed, could be the most expensive night of your life. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving, because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Every day, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps demonstrate their commitment to defend the American way of life. Since 1775, we have served our nation as a force in readiness. From combat operations to humanitarian assistance in every corner of the world. No matter where the mission takes us today or wherever our country needs us tomorrow, we always remember the land we call home. As Marines, we take a stand for each other, for our nation, for us all, the few, the proud, the Marines. I considered 
suicide so I wouldn't put my family through all the pain. Many of our warriors are returning home from the battlefield only to face a new war as they struggle with devastated injuries. At Wounded Warrior Project, we understand. We're there to help. Even though you think you're broken, you're not. It's the physical and the emotional healing that Wounded Warrior Project provides. With a gift of just $19 a month, you can join Wounded Warrior Project. You'll help provide critically needed programs and services that rebuild lives. Beautiful. Woo! There you go, buddy. The ongoing needs of our wounded and their families will continue for many years to come. Now is the time to show your support. Call now or go online with your gift of just $19 a month and we'll send you this Wounded Warrior Project blanket. It made me feel that there's people out there that care about us. After this event, we can finally maybe start to heal as a family and move forward. We need your help. The families are hurting. For many of our wounded heroes, the greatest casualty is being forgotten. That's why your gift of just $19 a month is so important. Please call or go online right now. of this program, in other words, to, to broaden the scope, to, to get more people to tune in, especially the younger set, you got to throw in some inane stuff, but it still has to be able to fit uh, within the confines of what you need it to fit, you know, and then obviously this program is, is um, you know, we talk about real stuff, um, so it, it has to fit in with the real stuff type of stuff, if you know what I mean. And here's something here that fits in with the real stuff. You wouldn't think it fits in with the real stuff, but it fits in with the real stuff, and it's something that, yeah, I don't know, maybe these uh, wonderful uh, Hollywood-esque acolytes, you know, the people who like to just follow all these famous people around for... Uh, famous people are, are you know... I. This may be happening more and more often, and uh, I'm surprised it's actually being reported, but it's probably being reported because of who the person is that this happened to. But this is from the Daily Mail. Uh, evidently, it, well, it, this is the, the, the Paris Fashion Week in, in, in uh, Gail Perry. And I, sh I sh probably shouldn't say that because everybody thinks that Paris is gay. Well, why is Paris gay? Thinking homosexual. No, gay really means happy. You know, lighthearted, uh, full of happiness and, and, you know, just generally in a good mood. So that's what I mean by gay and what people used to say by gay Paris because par Paris is always supposed to be this, you know, this... This wonderful light heart. Can I t say, uh, I, um, I can't believe it's almost been a year, but uh, I went to Paris for the first time in my entire, entire, entire short life. Went to Paris last year. And I quickly realized something that, that I heard somebody once say about old Europe, Western Europe. He said it was old and dingy. And dirty. And I said, well, what, are you, what, are you, what is he talking about? Old and dirty. Well, you know, if you're in Paris, Paris has this kind of gray hue. And it's not the air pollution. It has this kind of dingy gray hue about it. Uh, and it's not necessarily the sky. Although that, that when it's cloudy in Paris, it, that doesn't help. But it is the fact that 
the buildings are very old there. See, we don't, it's hard for us here to relate. One, because most of our buildings are not, you know, centuries old. And two, a lot of our, because a lot of our buildings are more modern, they use more modern building materials like, you know, colored, darker brick. So it doesn't show up the soot and dirt of the ages where in Paris, a lot of the buildings, you know, they've used the, 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 the forms of plaster, you know, plaster of Paris, that type of thing. So it's more white. It's a lighter color. But over time, obviously, d just due to nature, even if man wasn't around due to nature, plus, you know, the cars and stuff and the soot, uh, things get dirty. So the exteriors of all these old buildings are rather dingy. They don't run around power washing the entire city. So I understood what he said by that. Finally, because I actually saw it and realized what he was talking about. Now, I don't think it's – Paris is not a dirty city, um, meaning that, you know, there, it's decrepit and there's trash all over the place. No, no, no. Par Paris is actually fairly – from what I saw, was actually fairly clean in that re regard. But it's old. Um, the, yeah, there, there's – you can definitely see the transition. There, There is new sections of Paris. Uh, but even the government still – operates and meets in a lot of the old governmental buildings and, and old palaces and castles and such. Uh, Paris is just old. It's been around for centuries. It's going to have that look. And, and, and a lot of European cities that have that kind of age history, like Paris, and, and I'm sure London is similar. And, um, um, you know, I remember Athens, looking back to being in Athens, is kind of similar. It's just, they're just old cities. They've been around a long time. Uh, I, that's, in my view, that's not negative. It adds to the character that we don't have in the USA. It's simply because we just haven't been around that long. And there, again, there's nothing wrong. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with that. Being the new kids in the block, I don't, and not the not the music group, but you know, U.S. the Western Hemisphere is there. The, we're all the new kids in the block. Not just the USA, you know, Canada, Mexico, going down into Central America, South America, Venezuela, Brazil, you know, Colombia. They're all new kids in the block compared to Eurasia and Africa. They've been around a long time. We have it. So these people have this thing called, I guess it's the Paris Fashion Week. Does anybody ever wear any... Look, look I saw... The movie Double uh, Devil Wears Prada, whatever it is, um, I forget, I forget her real name, but I also saw a CNBC News uh, uh, movers and shakers, uh, uh, and the character that, uh, or the person that the character Mel Streep's character is based on. She's a real life person, uh, and she runs a magazine, and uh, was it Vogue? I think it's Vogue, and she's been running it for years and years and years. And um, I, I, I guess that's who the character she is, is, is based on. Uh, but anyway, I saw the, I saw the movie, and, and I understand how, you know, certain colors and styles, if you want to use this term, get dumbed down for the masses and ends up at JCPenney. So from that, you know, $5,000 dress that you see or, or outfit that you see walking down the Paris or Milan runway, uh, you know, nine months later, it ends up on the J.C. Penney rack as a sweater. I, 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 I get it. But what I don't get is why we put so much importance on this stuff, because nobody wears that garbage. Nobody wears it. They could get you could still get to the J.C. Penney rack without having to take a trip down uh, down the Paris or Milan runway first. Just saying. But with that said, you have all these wonderful elitist flying in from all over the world just to look at clothes. It, 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 remember that for a second. Talking about air pollution earlier. You know, these people are flying, you know, and some of them use commercial jets, a lot of them use private jets and what have you, and putting more air pollution in the air because they're supposed to be these wonderful, you know, uh, anti-global warming, anti-polluting people, but they're flying all over the world just so they can look at fashion. Look, we got computers now. 
We got video, you know, live, even Facebook has got live streaming now. You don't have to be there. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, you got to transport all these all these people that work in these things to, to those cities, and you got to transport all that clothing. Let's face it, all that clothing and other paraphernalia weighs a lot, which means it takes energy to move that stuff. So here they all congregate, thinking they're all wonderful and that they're better than the rest of us because they're in Paris looking at the fashion show, watching a bunch of overly skinny models. Most of them who have broke faces. I'm sorry, I don't find a lot of these high fashion models to be beautiful women because they're not, not in my book. But and, and 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 don't even get me started on the guys. You want to talk about emasculating men? Have you ever seen some of these these fashions, uh, these men's fashion shows or whatever? And these male models? Why are you kidding me? There's no way in hell. First of all, there's no way in hell I'd wear anything that those boys are wearing and two i sure as hell don't want to look like any of them yeah the emasculation of men just continues i tell it's it's just ridiculous but so we've got all these wonderful people in paris all these wonderful astute liberals in paris thinking that they're above everything because they're better than you and i well lo and behold guess who else is there of course, would be a Kardashian. Now, how the hell is Kardash- a Kardashian, especially Kim Kardashian, relevant to this program? Well, because Kim Kardashian, evidently, according to the Daily Mail, begged for her life while in Paris, while shopping, while an armed gang stole her eight and a half million dollars uh, uh, worth of jewelry, Kim Kardashian was robbed at gunpoint in a luxury apartment in Paris earlier today, Monday. Yeah, this this, this news moves. Uh, Kim Kardashian news moves real fast. Evidently, five armed masked men dressed as police officers were involved and stole millions of dollars in jewelry. Police said the robbers escaped on bicycles after Kim begged for her life. So those <laughs> those those robbers were hey, this is not funny, but this this part is funny. They were more environmentally sound than Kim Kardashian. They, their getaway vehicles were bicycles. Uh, you can't make this stuff up, folks. You really can't. Um, so Kanye uh, travels is traveling to meet Kim at a New York airport. After she's got a bodyguard too, I guess her personal bodyguard Pascal Dubier uh, was pictured uh, out with Kourtney Kardashian on Sunday night, indicating he was not with Kim when the raid took place. So. Why have a bodyguard if they're not going to be around to guard your body? I'm, I'm just, I know that's a question I'm not supposed to ask. Maybe those, maybe those robbers who pretended to be police officers, um, and we're told that stuff doesn't happen, right? You know, robbers don't dress up to be cops or stuff, something like that, but evidently they did. And nobody told them that, they're, that they need to be emasculated. Well, evidently they were they were emasculated enough as is they 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 spared her life. I I wasn't there. I don't know exactly went down, but I can imagine. She well, I'm not I'm not I'm not chastising her for being scared to death. Literally, uh, anybody would be, unless you're some hardened, you know, military operative or spy or something. You keep your cool, but. Most people, average everyday people, including stars, see they're just the regular average average everyday people when it comes right down to it, they're going to panic and be scared half to death. I'm sure I would be too. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not chastising Kim at all for how she reacted. That's pretty normal. But the fact is, is that these people, as well as the rest of us, can be touched by this kind of criminality. And they better wake up, you, these elitists better wake up to it, because they think they can't be touched. And there somebody just reached out and touched and stole from Kim Kardashian, of all people. 
Um, just, just saying. So you wonderful, mindful of much people who just idolize the Kardashians for whatever reason, understand when it comes right down to it, they're human beings like you and me. And when the you-know-what hits the fan, they devolve into basic human instincts just like the rest of us. So why are we putting them on pedestals? Seriously. Speaking of pedestals, <laughs> there's the Pope. The, the, the Pope, this is from Yahoo News. The Pope tells Americans ahead of elections to study, pray, and vote while he was kind of making fun of America and Americans. Pope Francis on Sunday advised U.S. Catholics who feel they are torn between two imperfect candidates for president to study and pray before they vote and to make sure to follow their conscience. This coming from the Pope, the guy who's, who was raised pretty much as a socialist, believes in communism, uh, which is both of those governmental styles are not biblical in any way so i i would tell the pope maybe he needs to go back and study the bible because socialism and communism is not biblical not in the least not even close but we have people in the church who are starting to go down this road um Saying that, uh, well, it, look, it's not not just not just Catholics, by the way. I'm not, I'm, you know, this is this is not limited. Look, look uh, Judaism has traveled down this this road. Is and and many uh, Protestant denominations have traveled down this leftist road. It's not biblical. Socialism and communism. And fascism is not biblical. Plain and simple. Oh well, um, I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe the maybe the uh, the Pope is also suffering from all that excess air pollution. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15. $15 of pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 800-595-2614 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 595-2614 to take your call now. Call 800-595-2614. That's 800-595-2614. Again, 800-595-2614. Hey folks, if you're anything like me, you spend a lot of time taking photos with your mobile phone or posting them to Facebook or Instagram, well did you know that you can actually be earning hundreds, even thousands of dollars each month just by uploading them to Instagram? Now, most people are skeptical at first, but this system is the real deal. You can get your hands on an evaluation copy of Instagram Profit, and you can be ready to see money flowing into your account. There are over 150 million users on Instagram, yet less than 1% of them are taking advantage of these money-making secrets. Now, if they knew they could be paying their rent, making their car payment, or just snapping photos and putting them onto Instagram, I bet they would be glued to their cell phones. There are only a limited number of these spots available, however. So if you visit MoneyMatters3.com right now, you can sign up to take advantage of all the special discounts. That's right, go to MoneyMatters, the number 3, Dot com and get all the info there. MoneyMatters3.com. Log on now. We've all heard of male enhancement, but now there's an expert on true male enhancement in the areas that really count. In Herb Ellis' book, Husband 2.0, Real Male Enhancement, you'll find answers to questions like, 
why doesn't she want to have sex? A quick start, quick results workout guide, plus what you can do as a side hustle to make money now. With all the great tips in this book, every man can benefit. Get the book, Husband 2.0 Real Male Enhancement, on Amazon.com. It started with a knock, but it wouldn't end there. What happens in the story next, many wouldn't understand and most wouldn't believe. 5 plus 2 equals perfection by Samuel Rosette Jr. is a must read. The scriptures within are reminders of the ancient past and yet intriguingly infuses with texts which stand on the edge of the stage of relevancy. Available online at West Bow Press, Amazon, Books A Million, Barnes & Noble and SamuelRosetteJr.com.